All right, well, my name is Michael Glowacki. I'm a full-time faculty member at Delta College. Um, I'm from Saginaw, Michigan originally. Uh, I Once I kind of started getting in, interested in art, um, I went to, after high school, I went to Kendall College of Art and Design and have a BFA from there uh, in visual communication. And then I have a master's of fine art from Cranbrook Academy of Art uh, where I studied photography, but really that school is very mixed media based. Um, so that's a little bit about me. Um, the inspiration for the work that's uh, in this exhibition is uh, really centered around peace and meditation. Uh, these two works, the sun and the moon print, have kind of started a series where I wouldn't necessarily call them landscapes, but they're just, um, you know, I guess I'm, I've, I've been interested in landscapes, uh, not necessarily as in a traditional sense, but more of a conceptual sense where, um, you know, I'm using landscapes as a vehicle to kind of create meditative works. And uh, the intention of the work is for it to be meditative for me in producing detailed work, but then also for the end work to be meditative uh, for the viewer, uh, and try to and and to try to replicate that kind of feeling you get when you you know go for a long hike or look at a huge landscape. Um, I, I definitely feel like abstract art uh, and artwork in general can be can can be meditative meditative where you know it allows you to kind of sit in a museum pause at a piece and just contemplate you know whatever it is you need to contemplate at the time um, early in my career uh, or as a younger artist I was definitely making more work centered around um, political interests or you know doing work that was a little bit more um, forward in concept where we're now, especially, uh, you know, amid this past year, um, I've been more and more gravitating towards work that is contemplative, uh, you know, and kind of paying homage to just simple things in life, like enjoying the sun, enjoying the moon, enjoying our natural environments. Um, other things I'm interested in within that work or um, you know, I keep a, a, a journal uh, and write down things that I find interesting and, and just kind of inspire me within my own work. But specifically like this series, uh, certain subjects that uh, have been of interest to me, oops, sorry about that, is, um, you know, the idea of like Japanese forest bathing, uh, where you know, studies have shown, or if you read articles about Japanese forest bathing, it's interesting to me that, you know, studies show the health benefits of going hiking in the woods, not only just taking time in your life to kind of enjoy nature, but also uh, there's all these different studies that show like the, the trees of a forest release oils into the air and there, you know, there's health benefits to human beings. Uh, for that. And then you read different, um, or I've read different, you know, interesting facts about nature in general that, you know, um, scientists have found that trees or plants have heartbeats. They're just so slow. We can't really, uh, you know, uh, hear them or record them. Um, then I'm also interested in, you know, things like color theory, you know, why Certain colors are more calming than others. Some people believe like the color blue is calming to, to us because it replicates the sky or the ocean. Uh, and that's our natural world. That's what we're used to. So in turn, it, it calms us or um, gives us confidence. Um, do you want me to go on to the next question? Yeah, go ahead. Um, okay. So yeah, if you could just describe a day in your studio. Okay. A day in my studio is just kind of all over the place. Uh, my studio is in my house. Um, I've had studios outside of my house uh, and, you know, uh, I just 
find it kind of too distracting. Um, but generally a day in my studio is, you know, doing a little bit of work up in my dedicated office uh, where I'm doing a little bit of graphic design work. Maybe I um, get tired of that or need a break from that. So then I move over to from my desktop to my iPad and do some drawing on my iPad. Uh, then I do some traditional drawing on paper and just move around. I find that in order to do uh, longer, larger projects, I need to break up the day into sections and be working on, you know, three projects at a time. Um, and that's kind of my career anyways. As a teacher, I'm doing, I'm always kind of doing emails or stuff like that regarding, um, you know, my teaching. And then I might be doing some graphic design projects uh, on the side. Uh, and then I'm doing personal work uh, throughout the day. Um, let's see the next question. Oh, chosen medium. So why am I working in this chosen medium? So uh, the moon and sun drawing are, are done. I kind of start in phases where I do some rough sketches. Sometimes I just jot down notes of basic concepts that give me inspiration for a piece. Generally, uh, you know, a piece will start off with kind of a an instant visual in my head where, you know, I kind of contemplate, I think that could be visually cool. And then I sketch it out, see if it could go a bit further. Um, then I move on to the iPad, uh, which I love working digitally over traditionally, just because I think um, I'm a little bit of a perfectionist and, and working digitally allows me to erase stuff and have it be clean and nice and neat. And, you know, there's not as much, um, I don't have to have as much care uh, as I do when I'm painting direct to canvas. Um, though I go from different mediums here or there uh, just to change things up. Um, I think my preference has definitely been over the past years working more digitally, uh, producing the work digitally, and then I'll take that to print. So then once I um, finish these out and I'm happy with these illustrations uh, digitally, uh, I will get them printed to screens uh, and then do, do them um, in screen printing form. And I like that, I like to have these screen printed over just regular digital printing because I, I just feel like there's a little bit more uh, hand-hewn feel to them when they're screen printed. You can dive into layering up the color uh, and get creative with how the different layers of, of the color kind of overlap and create different effects. You can experiment with specialty papers uh, like these two prints are, one is printed on kind of an iridescent paper uh, for the moon. Uh, and then the sun is printed on like a metallic paper. And then a lot of different metallic inks have been overlaid on top of each other uh, to finish the pieces. Um, and I think with a digital print though, that's fine. You can't really dive into overlapping color uh, and experimentation with your paper materials and, and your different inks. 